here in Brasov, Romania, which is a fabulous setting for an interview with Bel Karen. He's the author of The Deceit of Riches and also From the Rooftops, which is set here in Romania. So we have some questions for you. Um, first of all, why why Romania as a setting? The choice to set the story in Romania was based actually on the criminal in the story. Um, the criminal, in this case, his name is Jakub Sobin. He's based off of a very infamous Russian mob boss who will remain nameless, uh, who was very active in Hungary and Czechoslovakia in the early 1990s. And in my research, I didn't find anything uh, about his operations in Romania. So going with the old adage of everything's been done before, I thought, hmm, there's a, there's a chance to set a very um, a legitimate type of criminal, criminal operation in a place that hasn't been written about before. So I figured this was a good place to, uh, to introduce Romania again to the modern, the modern reader. So, From the Rooftops was set in the 1990s. How does the political or social situation uh, in Romania at that time fit into the story? Oh, it, it fits in perfectly. Um, Romania today is still considered the most corrupt country in the European Union or in Europe. Um, it's much better than it was 10, 20 years ago. But after the 1989 uh, revolution in Bucharest, there was a huge power and political vacuum, uh, where um, services, councils, all just fell apart. There was there was no support for the citizens. In that time, criminality, uh, black markets, they just thrived. And so, um, having a criminal take over certain areas of the country was would not be unthinkable. And, and Jakob Slovene's network really preys on the the social breakdown in the 1990s. So in The Deceit of Riches, you introduced us to Peter Turner and Del Sani. Um, and From the Rooftops is a sequel, so we, we have those same characters, but you've introduced a new character. Tell us about her. Yeah, good. Uh, indeed, uh, From the Rooftops is a sequel to The Deceit of Riches, but it is not a rerun. Uh, Yelena is a Romanian woman who gets swept up with Peter and Del um, in, their, in their fight against Levine's network. She has specific information that she reveals after her fiancé is murdered that helps to be the wedge or the foot in the door uh, that then uh, breaks open the whole case. And she helps Peter and Dell to navigate Romania and feed them with information that they wouldn't otherwise have. Have you read much in Romanian? Uh, what's, what's your opinion of Romanian literature? I love Romanian literature. Um, the biggest problem I have with it is that all the books that I read in college are in Romanian. And if I want to enjoy it again, I have to study the language again for six months before I can really read it again. But I find it very thoughtful, uh, very spiritual, uh, but also very nationalistic in a good way. Patriotic, maybe? Uh, I wrote my uh, undergraduate thesis in Romanian literature based on an author by the name of Liviu Rebreanu who was a soldier in the First World War, a Romanian soldier in the Austro-Hungarian Empire fighting against his brothers in Romania. And that created quite a, quite a friction in his life. And that book is somewhat autobiographical of his own experience as a soldier. Very thoughtful, uh, very deep, uh, and very poignant for uh, the national cause of Romania. Highly recommend it. I'm trying to incorporate uh, some elements of the old classic Romanian writers into the story. Uh, for instance, Lobin was once a young shepherd boy, wandered in the hills as a young man, learned to speak the languages of the country, Romanian, Hungarian, German, Ukrainian, um, trying to uh, weave in the bits of nature that Mihai Eminescu wrote about in his poetry, um, but also then the aspects of the, of the, the 89 revolution, and Romanians continued fight against corruption in their own country. 
as we were in Bucharest this last week, we joined a, a demonstration against the corruption of the current government. So that's all woven into the book a bit, taking my history of uh, knowledge, history and knowledge of Romanian literature, and putting it into a modern package. It sounds like a very interesting and unique subject matter. Um, I'm very interested in reading it. I'm sure many other people would be too. Thank you. Thank you.